for example, if the stop, if we end up doing this, I don't know. If the stop in Hertz is 30 cents and you take 1,000 shares, you'd be risking $300. So you're, what, the question you're asking me is with BP, with buying power and margin, which is something separate, but you need to know what your dollar and cents risk is, which has to do with the share quantity you're taking. And I think maybe that's something that you're, that you're not doing correctly. If, for example, if it's 20 cents and you take 1,000 shares, it'd be $200. So if you don't want to risk $200 and the stop's 20 cents, and you have to take less than a thousand. You could take five hundred, risk a hundred bucks. I don't know what the stop's going to be in this. I'm just using this as an example. Been anything today? We're going to look at two things. They're okay. They're not amazing. Um, they're okay. Yeah, well, we'll talk. I figured you weren't doing it that way, Brad. And Mimi was asking about the stop last week too, which made me nervous. That made me, th Mimi, are you actively trading now, or you're just watching? Because you asked me about a stop like five minutes into a trade. We will go over that for Brad and maybe Mimi needs to help too when we're done here today. Um, I just don't know if we should watch two things or one. Uh, we should probably watch two. Any questions before we get started? Hain and Hertz are the two. who could be calling my home because no one knows my number. Sales, sales, sales. Okay, that's fine, Mimi. We're, we're still going to go over the margin and risk and stops and all that. We'll do that for Brad then. Interesting day. Interesting day. So market gapping down this morning, see what happens here. Uh, should be some political news out this afternoon. We'll see what happens here. Not surprised market's gapping down at all. Um, so watching this very carefully here, watching it very carefully. Didn't call an option this morning, almost did. Uh, trying to be a little conservative here, but not surprised at all we're down this morning. Not surprised whatsoever. All right, so let's watch two. I wish we could just see one thing and say, this is amazing. Maybe we'll get a day like that. <coughs> Maybe we'll get a day like that this week. It's only Tuesday. Good luck, everyone.
If I see something here, I don't know, maybe we should watch hearts first. So now I switched. I've got hurts in the main, pain on the side here. Can't make up my mind today. It's all good. Just remind me of that question, Brad. Okay, stop's gonna be 30. It's gonna be, I guess it's gonna be, it's gonna be Hertz. And I do not have the entry. Eighty-five by thirty. Eighty-five by thirty hertz. Eighty-seven. Here, hit it. Hit it if you want to get in it. Just get in it now. It's going to break. Get the stop at thirty. Twenty thirty. Twenty thirty hertz. It didn't, it didn't break, but it looks like it's going to. I don't know why it's sitting there. And Haynes probably going to work, too. This is probably going to work, too. So that, for some reason, just has a really crazy bar there. Okay, what's going on with this? 87 by 30 is valid. This didn't break yet. I, I like it. I don't know what's going on with this here. And this is going to work too. What is going on with this? There, 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 there. Shoo. That was really weird. Okay, great. Here we go. Hurts. And the hain looked like it was working too. First target on this though, 1960, 1950. Well, I took it early. That could have worked against me. Let's just see here. If you if you if you didn't get filled, hit it with another ECN. It was acting strange there. Hit it with another ECN. You probably get filled now, Galahad. It's not that far away. Or wait. So let's look at the other one too. I just don't like the way this is trading here after that first bar, but all right, HTZ. 
It, you got to start checking that, Brad. We'll, we'll go over all that later. You have to start checking that. Here, HTZ. Is anyone in it? Galahad didn't get filled. I don't know if you pressed it again, Galahad. Here, Hertz. Turtle's in it. Galahad's in it now. And this just doesn't look right here, even though it's dropping. 1940, 1950, 1925. Let's ju let's just see here. This is acting strange, but this guy, I, I think 1950 is realistic here. If you ever don't get filled, press it again with a different ECN. long nineteen seventy five let's find that number nothing really see here if you had your order sitting and you didn't get filled you would have gotten filled just now see but you don't know if that's you, you never know if that's going to happen or not so, but if you had an order sitting you and when this little jiggy went up you would have gotten filled and this is dropping it's just acting really weird it's almost acting like you can't trade it so just gonna leave it i mean it obviously dropped this is cleaner here just make sure you got the stop in I don't think this bar is real. I don't know. Uh, is this bar real here? Because I read it differently. Let's move off of this and see. I don't know. I I had a different number there, and now it does look like that printed. Did that print or not? What does everybody have for the high on the first bar? Galia likes perfection, but that's preventing you from doing well. So... It, it, you can't I told you this before you can't be black and white you have to live in the gray if you want to do well that goes for all things here we go HTZ so everybody has 45 I really want to leave it where it's at I gotta be honest with you I don't even think that this should go back up here so I, you know do what you want if you want to move it up move it up I think I'm gonna leave it in fact I am so Brad did get the HTZ, okay. Here we go. Let's try to hold this down in the 50s. So I was having an issue with 75, and I really can't see any reason that makes any sense why of that. Here's the market. Here's the market. Crap. Here. Be in this, and I'm going to look at something here to maybe call an option in this. Just stay with the trade. Stay with the trade. I'm going to try to do more than one thing at a time, uh, if I can. Crap. I knew it. Stay with this trade. You have the stop in, you have it in. I, I decided not to move it, but it's struggling with 1975. It's got to go, though, with the, especially with the market here.
this today, the 8th. I don't know why that is having a hard time with that number. We got it. I mean, uh, you know, if you wanted a piecemeal out of that, but it really wasn't much. I'm trying to stay with this. I mean, I think it looks great, but it did not break 75 yet. I'm talking about HTZ, and I'm trying to get an, some options out here for people in the letter and watches at the same time. But I really just don't think it made any sense to get out of anything there. Hain is setting up again. Hain, you could short if you want. Stop 70. It's it's about 50 cents. Hain, you could short for the stop at 2670. I'm really gonna stick with HTZ. I don't know why it's doing this. I'm not putting a stop. I'm not moving it. So, I mean, do whatever you want to do with that. I don't think it should be backing up over this, over 20. Okay, we're going to find out right now. We're still in it. I'm not moving to stop. And that's how I size myself anyways. Highest point it hit was 25. Still hanging on. Let's just see. And Hayne went back down to the low and now is bouncing too. So don't just I think everybody should have the stop where we originally put it not over 45 but it's totally up to you uh, you know you'd lose more than one R and we are going to go over that today this is holding I don't like the way that it was struggling with 75 and I can't see any problem with the number and based on the market it should just go so I don't really want to move the stop I don't want to give it any more excuses here Okay, I sent out two options letters for anybody that's on the letter. We're, we're just in this here now waiting. If this holds, this is really going to go, and I'll call it again. Uh, Hain, I told you you could do, and I gave you, the, I, gave you the, I gave you the stop. So if you wanted to do that, I'm not doing two things here at the same time. Hain, I already gave you. If you wanted it, it wasn't a small stop. Looks like it went down to the low. I don't know if it broke any further. I'm not doing anything else right now. I'm focusing on this. Galahad, I'm not going to get in an argument with you about the market. If you did Hain and Hertz, great. I'm trying to focus on this. Make sure you have it at 35. Make sure you have it at 35. Hanes at 26. For those of you that did that, that worked. I'm still in this. I'm not doing two things. 
I really don't want to do anything else after this. I think this has been very choppy. I think being focused is the best thing. We ended up having a, a half decent day yesterday for a Monday. I really just don't want to do anything else. I'm sticking my guns with this. If you did both, great. You're still in this if you didn't. And Hayne went. You got to watch 26, though. It's at the target. This was a good gap, so I believe it goes. But this did reach the first target. So if you did that and you did it late, I would scalp it. Galahad, you are arguing with me. If you're trying to tell me you think you know better than me about the market, I think you're smoking something over there in London. <laughs> All right, who's in HTZ? Who killed it? Who got out? If this goes back down to that number 70, 1975, it will break. But it, it hasn't yet. It struggled with it. It's very jerky. I'm not giving it over the high. And I really don't want to do anything else. Uh, what happened to that? We need to be a little more relaxed here. It is summer after all. What was the one, the other one? Oh, Z. What happened to that? Oh, ew. I didn't even rate this. Whew. We got lucky not doing that, sucker. What was the other one? There was another one, too. Um, Shower Singer, that's up to you as far as how much you want to have on as far as your wrist. Shower Singer saying, would you do this one? We have the other one on. It's up to you how much you really want to have on at one time that you feel that you can stomach that's pretty much the best answer I can give you there um, this setup this was late if you've got more than one trade on say two three four five for the overnights if you're if you have a problem mentally with that then don't then don't do that many you know, I don't, I don't know what to tell you with that. Some weeks I don't call any. Some weeks it seems like I call more. It is earnings season. you got to be aware of that. There will be more in earnings season than non-earnings season. Here we go. Hello. Here we go. HTZ. Um, I have no idea why I had a problem with that number. But here, we're getting back down around it. And as soon as we hit through it, we should have a nice drop. And then we're out. 946. If you don't want to have too many trades on, then don't do not do the new ones. I like the new ones. I'll explain why whenever we get out of this, but I have to also answer Brad's question. Gollyhead wants to challenge me and say the market's higher. Here we go. Yeah, I hope ever. See, if you would have gotten filled here, you would have, you would have, you would have gotten filled. Now, this was an unusual situation, but you would have gotten filled here, here. You would have gotten filled for sure here if you hadn't gotten filled. So, here we go. Four pennies under the low. HTZ. Apple's done with that move. Let's look at everybody else here. Just today, May 8th. All right, here we go. Let's just watch this drop.
Where's that number yet? Okay, so I just made two options calls, and Galahad disagrees with me, so he's probably not going to do them. Here, Hain, if you want to do it again, you could do Hain. If you didn't do it, scalp it. Stop 2660. Everything's fine. If this breaks 26, you can have another big drop. The stock can move. Again, if you're in HTZ, I'd stick with it. I don't know why this is having that problem. All right, let's go over Brad's, Brad's question here. So, Brad, based on I mean, wherever you got Phil, let's just let's just make it easy here today. Let's say you did 90 by 35, and I'm just trying to make it easy here. Let's say you did 90 by 35. What's the risk in that, Brad? And I'm just going to try to make it really easy for Brad here. Trend trader, then I'll send them to you right now. We'll have to figure out that problem. Are you getting the big emails? Brad, 90 by 35 is what? Ninety by thirty-five is what I'm talking to Brad or anybody else who wants to answer, but I really want Brad to answer. No, ninety by thirty-five. Here, here we go. Hold on. Hello, there it is. Hello. Great. Finally, some movement. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Don't you dare bounce. Here we go. Yay. Hooray. Hooray. See if it breaks 50. If not, we're out. Wow, what a nice call. And we stuck with it too. And I had to stop at the right place. Yay. Here, out, out, out. Great. This looks like it could get to 19 then today with the market. I don't know what time. Nice trade. Do, 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 do. And we held it to the point that we needed to. Okay, let's get back to what I was saying. All right, let's go here. No, it's not $1.50. You take the amount, here it's gonna to try to break 50. You take the amount, take the amount, and the amount is 45 cents. 45 cents is how you will determine your risk. So 45 cents, that's not gonna have anything to do with your buying power. Here, this is gonna to try to break. If anybody's still in it, watch it, watch it, watch it. I think it's going to break 50 now, though. Uh, 45 cents. So, again, if you take 100 shares, that would be what? $45. 200 shares would be what? $90. And so on and so forth. That's how you have to figure out your monetary risk. I think you're a little bit all over the place with that, Brad. So, if you would normally risk $100 per trade, how many shares could you here it just broke great great call great trade if you're still in it here oh wow look try to hold it if you can get it under 30. here is anybody still in it this was a good call and i did was so bouncy bouncy i said 1950 i stuck with what i said here it got to 25. this is what a nice move wow what a nice move if this hadn't acted so bizarre we could have taken more in there but i just wasn't going to do that today So anyways, 200 shares would be 90 bucks. Galahad, didn't you make money today? You wish what? Did you make money today, yes or no? Because you should have. 
Brad, do you see what I'm writing? Now, as far as your, you know, BP, if you made money, then stop complaining. Stop wishing. What are you wishing for? You just made money today. 1990 times 200 shares equals what? That's what's going to come out of your buying power, Brad. Galahad, if you don't stop, change your attitude, you are never going to turn your situation around. You are never, never, never going to turn it around. Your attitude is so negative. We've discussed this before. Here, HTZ is getting down to 19. If anybody's in it, watch it. Look at that bar. Here, it's at 19. This was a great call. I'm fine with what I did on this, though, personally. Brad, you would take $19.90 times 200 shares, and that's what it's going to take out of your buying power. Galahad, you, need, you know what you need to change. You're just not doing it, and you still have a negative attitude, so you're clearly not doing it. If you made money today, you should be happy, and you shouldn't be complaining. Do you hear me complaining that I got out of this and it's still going? No. 39.80, Brad is saying. That's right. So that's what it's going to take out of your margin or something. I didn't figure out exactly on the calculator, but estimate it. It's close to four grand. So that's what it's going to take out of your buying power. Now do you understand it, Brad? Mimi, you've been getting them. I'll, I'll send them to you, Mimi, but you've been getting the options calls, so they're probably in your spam. This is the first I heard that you have had an issue. I will send them to you as well, Mimi. That was a really nice call. They're probably your spams, maybe, but I just sent them to you. And any single solitary person that's still in this, you should have your hand in the button to get out of this any second. If you held this down to 19 and it doesn't break 19, get out. If it does, stay with it and see where it goes. This ended up being a huge trade. Oh, my God. It just broke. It just broke. This is crazy. Look. Wow. This went more than a dollar from where I called it. This is insane. And you know why? People were trying to buy that. That was a great call. It's still going. Is anyone still in it? And I'm not saying you should be, but I'm just wondering. Is anyone still in this to get that through 19? Unbelievable. Qualitor said yes. Wow. I I just would get out. <laughs> Do not, or put a stop over 19. Brad made seventy dollars and hey, and he's happy. If you size yourself right, that's what that's all that's what counts. That's what counts because what you don't want to do, and I think maybe this is why you've only been out loud sometimes to take one trade, Brad. I think you're oversizing yourself, but now you know. Now you know how to do it, so I don't think you're going to make that mistake again. I think everyone should be out of this. I was out of this a while ago, but it was a good move. It was profit. It was money, and I wasn't crazy about any of the gaps today. This did work. This had the biggest move, I think. This had a couple little plays in it, but it was really weird here. I just didn't like the way this traded out. So you could have scalped this here or here. They both worked. This was the best one, so I picked the best one. Uh, it just took a little bit longer to go. I wasn't crazy about anything really today, i got to be honest with you. So I'm glad we stuck with this. I wouldn't take the max shares of your buying power unless you have to, unless you have to, to, to meet the requirements of whatever your risk is per dollar and cents to get the position for the cost of the stock. If you have to, if you have to, to do that, then fine. If you do not have to, to do that, then don't. It's not, you should, you shouldn't be maxing out your buying power every day. No, just for so. Cause then your risk is not consistent either. All right, so I think Brad's got that down. Mimi, you've been getting the letters. I just forwarded them to you, but probably just check your spams. Um, 
Is everybody out of this? That was a great poem. Uh, I will send it to you right now, Jackie. You're on it too. It's not too late, so don't, no one have a cow. Does anyone want to go over anything? It was a great call. So it turned out to be an easy day, which I couldn't see before the open. Um, but I did see this here, the red in the market. Galahad, if you just did the trade that I called, which was a spy put, and you told me 15 minutes ago that you think the market's along, then that is another problem that you have that I didn't even know you had. So if you believe the market's along, why are you shorting it? I, I have no idea what you're doing, Galahad. Why would you do something that you don't have conviction in? Why? No, you're not following me. You're not following me. You are not. That's why you're having problems. You are not following me. But you will 100% you will screw up this trade. I guarantee it to happen. You will screw it up, even if it works, because you don't believe it's going to work, and you did it anyways. I, 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 honest to God. You don't see the trades I call, you shouldn't be doing them. You think that this is a long, and I call the market lower. Today, if you're on the option letter, you should have all gotten it. But if you do not think the market's a long, uh, uh, short, if you think the market's a long, why did you do the trade? And I have no idea why you think the market's a long. You are looking at other things that are, are so messing up your head. They are screwing up your head like nobody's business. I mean, besides the fact that you know, you have been very, very negative. You are absolutely just totally have lost sight of everything I've taught you. Completely. I don't, I don't know. No. You really need to pay for a retake of the class and you need to stop looking at other things. And, and you shouldn't have done that trade because you're going to screw it up because you don't even think it's going to work. Today was a good day. Could have had a little bit longer. I don't care. You got to be happy for what the market gives you. Any questions from anyone about anything at all? James Diaz said today was a great day. You are correct. Today was a great day. Every day you make money in the market is a great day. And it's not to say the days you lose aren't great. You might have learned something from a day that you lose. I think it's unfortunate sometimes when there's two or three days in a row where things don't seem to be shaping up immediately or quick or fast. And that was the case last week. It was almost the case yesterday. Turned it around. Today was good. I think these are challenging times here in the market where you got to get the read right. You got to get the read right. We stayed with this trade. We were almost stopped out. It worked. It was a, it was a good read and it was a good call. Um, and you just got to keep doing what I've taught you. If you veer off course, you're 100% responsible for the decisions you make. Prad says, you learn quicker when you lose. Well, that's a good way to put it. Well, you learned about sizing today, so that was important. Okay, have a wonderful day, everyone. Good luck wherever you're doing, on your travels or wherever you're going today. I will see you back in the room tomorrow morning. I would not do anything else. Tricky here. Political news coming out this afternoon. Trump talking at 2. All right. Have a good one. You're welcome.